You know, before the race begins, anything is possible. Anything. On the one hand, you have the true icons of the sport, certain drivers, certain teams who set the pace, who you expect to do well. On the other hand, you have the underdogs. And we are always there, always pushing for another place, another point, looking for the smallest opportunity, the tiniest mistake we can punish. And in that moment, just before lights out, it's like, it's like the world holds its breath, you know? Everybody just waits. The air is heavy, you know? And I knew whatever happened, corner sport had made its mark on the history of the sport. Hmm. And I was at peace with that. So you weren't nervous? Are you kidding? <laughs> so we know how it stands right now, but just how different might it be when the chequered flag waves here in Abu Dhabi? And it slides out, and away we go! Start moving through the field. It's time to push. Come on, you've got this. Copy that. Down the main straight we go. Here goes Jackson again, moving up the field. What a great race for him. Yeah, it really is so far, Prof. I mean, it's a circuit he really enjoys. Remember the race in 2021 that he put together there? It was fantastic stuff back then. Who could forget it? Connor Sport need a performance just like that today. May is doing OK. Jackson really delivering. Great stuff, Aiden. Come on, I think we can get one more place here. Push, push. Uh, stuff is all right. Assessing, assessing, stand by. I'm losing speed. Heading down the back straight now. He's in a great spot, but hang on, he's slowing. He's slowing. Something is very, very wrong. Yeah, I think he's got a problem here, Crofty. I wonder what it is. Could it be engine related? Look, they're throwing their hands in the air on the pit wall, and he's out. And yeah, that's the engine gone. 2023 is over for Aidan Jackson. It's a dramatic exit, and it wasn't what he was hoping for. Something happened up there. Yeah, engine failure, I'm afraid. Aiden is out of this race. Repeat, Aiden's out of the race. Did you get that? Aiden's out. I heard. What? Let me speak to him. What? 
Why? Just give me the headset. Sure about this? I'm sure about everything. Yeah, that's what concerns me. Kelly. Devin? Yeah, we've had a chat. We think it's best if you uh, don't push the car too hard. Huh? Why? Look, you're way back, Cal, OK? We, we don't want to blow your engine too, so just, just cruise it in and finish the race. It's got to be realistic here. Copy. Sorry, is this a team order? No, Casper agrees. It's just not going to make up that much ground. It can't be done. Just cruise it in, Cal. Trust me, you watch her go. Keep an eye on that gap ahead, please. 2.2 seconds. running in third, P3.
leading the pack, that's P1. And Verstappen's behind. OK, push, push, gap to the car behind. 5.3 seconds. They're on old mediums. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. All right, six laps to go now. Five laps of fuel remaining.
they've got enough fuel for three more laps. Okay, just two laps of fuel remaining now. performance by her today. Connor Sport sure will be very delighted with that one. And if you believe the rumours, Anne, this is a team whose future has been in doubt. Surely, though, they've done enough to return next season. I think they've been wonderful to watch. Hey, Devon. Not bad today, sis. Not bad at all. You did that on purpose. Did what on purpose? Oh, come on, Dev. Cruise it in. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. You, you, technically, you went against the team order. It's poor form, that. <sighs> I can't believe I missed it at the time. It seems so obvious now. You want to lay off the sauce, Cal. Seriously, it's a bit embarrassing. I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised Casper let you, to be honest. Really surprised. Okay, I'm going now because you're not making any sense. Okay? Ciao. Yep. Ciao. Dad. California. That good enough for you? Uh, look, I, I thought we maybe could grab a coffee tomorrow before we head off. My flight's not till three. Yeah, um... Have a chat, talk about next season. It'd be good for us. Um... Well, think about it anyway. The offer stands. You make it sound like a negotiation. It always is with us, Kelly. You let me know.
it was amazing. I'm not sure I've ever seen a race like that. I was wrong about Callie. And how did you feel about the engine failure? There's no such thing as the perfect car. The one that failed us was the same one that got us here in the first place. So, you've just got to drive the car you're in. Well, everyone's an individual, which means that everyone is um, motivated a little differently. Take Devon as an example. He always responds well to having his ego brushed, to being told that he's the best. His greatest fear is failure, so it gives him further to fall, keeps him hungry. Callie, on the other hand, uh, has an innate drive to prove people wrong. If someone tells her something's not possible, she'll do everything in her power to achieve it. A sort of uh, stubborn determination that can be harnessed. <laughs> and then there's Aiden. I mean, when he started in F1, people thought he was a nice guy, but he was incredibly ambitious. It's just what makes Aiden tick. Which is why I may have started a rumor or two about uh, interest from other teams during his time at Connor Sport to stoke that ambition. Keep his eyes on the horizon. A lot of people might see that as manipulative, wouldn't you agree? Well, of course. <laughs> Motivation is manipulation. It's the same thing. Is it? Look, the end justifies the means. After all, it's just business. Looking forward to next season? Just let me at it. Will you stay next season? I've told Casper I'll stay if he does. Do you still have a job after your running with Davidoff? <laughs> well, we'll see. We did it! We secured the funding! What a team! And that's all that matters. <laughs> right now, yes, that's all that matters. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're done? Yeah? Cool.